Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today we're going to be making a soft wire sculpture tree. Now to make our soft wire tree, what we're going to use is this material called paper format. So what paper format is, is a very thin wire coated in paper. So it's very easy to manipulate and really easy for younger kids to use too. So as you can see, just by using my fingers, I can contort the shape and it will stay in that shape. And you can use scissors to cut it, so there's no need for pliers or any other materials to use this. So now to begin our sculpture, we're just going to need the wire and this little wooden base. So this is just going to be the support for the tree. You can use other things like stones just to support the bottom because we do need something heavier at the bottom so the tree doesn't tip over once it's finished. And now we're just going to take out a longer piece of the wire. So what you could do is if you're in a class, you could cut this for the kids and they can just use a few strands and then disperse it as you go through the class. So all we're going to do is loop that through. So as you can see, I've just got the wire coming from the bottom and then through that little gap and then I'm just going to twist it around. So this is going to be the starting point of our tree and then we're going to wrap more wires around and around just so it can pad out that base and we can create things like branches. So once we've got that there, that will be the start. And you can build your trees as big as you want. You don't want to go too big, otherwise the base will topple over. And you don't want to use too much wires per one person. So what I'm going to do is just cut a few lengths. You might want to cut them into smaller pieces as you go. But what we want is the trunk of the tree to be a bit thicker than the branches. So I'm going to build up quite a few layers for the base of the tree. And then as it starts to move up, I'm just going to follow the line of some of these other branches that have started, and then they'll taper off as we go. So as you begin wrapping your tree, you want to start from the base and then move your way upwards. You don't want your base to be too thin, otherwise it doesn't look very natural. We want to copy the line of a tree, so you might want to get your students to look at some tree images, go outside and have a look, and then they can pick if they want to do certain types of trees or look at natives. For example, that could be a really good way of looking at a natural art lesson as well. So now I've got the rough shape of the tree happening. So what you can do is bend some of the wires to make them look like a bit more of an organic branch shape. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got some roots that are still out here. I like that it looks a bit more natural and then the students can have a look at root growth as well. Otherwise you can trim them off if you do want to clean them up a bit, but I'll leave mine on here. I think that looks quite nice and just make sure that it is sturdy enough to stand up by itself. If it's not, then just add more weight to the base of the tree because we will be adding things like beads and paper clay to the top. So it will weigh down the top a bit more. So you want to make sure that that's nice and sturdy and not going to move too far. Okay, so the next step is we're going to use some beads to embellish this. So you can use a few different things depending on what you want to decorate it with, but this is quite a nice, easy thing to do, especially with young kids, and it will help with their fine motor skills. So we're just going to thread these beads through the wire like that. So you want to make sure that the beads you're using aren't too small because the wire is quite a bit thicker than some of the smaller beads. So just give it a test before you go ahead and get your students to thread them through. Now that we've got some beads threaded on, what I'm going to do next is use some of the 
paper clay and some of the modeling foam. If you haven't used modeling foam or paper clay before, it's paper based and it's got a mild adhesive in it, so it will stick straight on to the paper format without having to use any glue. So the modeling foam has some little polystyrene balls in it to give it a really interesting texture, whereas this paper clay is just soft and spongy and it will dry as a foam. So what you'll notice with some of these beads is that the hole is quite wide, like the pony beads, so they're sitting a bit loose. So I'm going to fashion the paper clay into the shape of some leaves, maybe even some flowers, just to keep those beads on the wire so they're a bit more sturdy and they won't fall off when you move the tree around. So you won't need too much of this at all. So what you might want to do is flatten it in your hand and just wrap it around that wire and that will dry as is. So you can use a combination of both or use either or. They come in a range of different colours so if you wanted to make it look like flowers and what I might do is use some of the yellow foam to make it look like wattle leaves and flowers and that could look quite nice with a mixture of the green and the yellow together. Now we have just finished putting the paper clay onto the tree and I'm quite happy with that. Of course you can keep going, keep extending. If you want this activity to challenge the kids a bit more then you could get them to add more branches and use different things to decorate the tree but for me this is just a quick activity that I would do with middle primary so nothing too strenuous and it's a good way of leading into 3D sculptures or even other wire sculptures but I'm quite happy with this so I'll leave it as is and it's standing up quite easily as well which is half the challenge. That's all for this week, we hope to see you next time and don't forget to hit subscribe. Nailed it.